Generally speaking, when we pair wine and food, we tend to think about what we're serving. We choose a wine to serve with seafood and fish or something different to serve with meat. But I want to show you something that many restaurateurs know, that many winemakers know, but that most wine drinkers are not aware of. It's oftentimes the seasoning, the way those proteins are prepared, the way they're cooked and seasoned and sauced that makes more of a difference when it comes to pairing wine and food. And we can illustrate this by just doing a simple comparison. I'm going to show you a lighter, brighter Italian white wine next to a richer California Chardonnay. And let's taste both of them first before we start. When we try the Italian, this one is a Frescati from the area outside of Rome, but you could try this with all sorts of styles from Europe, like a Macon Village. A very crisp, light-bodied, high-acid, dry white wine down the sides of the tongue, very noticeable in its acidity, very tart and tangy. When we compare this to the California wine, we have a very different flavor experience because here we have quite a lot more aromatics, a barrel-fermented style, so noticeably oaky, and on the palate, much lower in acidity and higher in alcohol, so thicker and richer in texture. Whether either one of these is your personal preference, I can show you how it's going to work differently with different kinds of food, just by coming in with things like lemon and butter to show you how your senses operate, because it's all about the food chemistry when it comes to wine and food pairing. Wine number one, our Italian wine, seemed a little too tart by itself. But all we need to do to show you how to cut that acidity is to try a little taste of lemon. You don't need to eat it, but just touch it to your tongue to get a sense of that zing that you get when you put lemons in your mouth. Come back to the same wine, and it seems dramatically less sour the second time. It's fascinating. Our senses cannot process two sources of acidity. In the presence of something that's even more sour, like the lemon, our frascati is dramatically reduced in sourness. This style may seem a little too sharp on its own, but that's because it's designed to serve with foods that are high in acid, foods that have a squeeze of lemon, that are dressed with a vinaigrette, perhaps fresh tomato, or even that have been cooked with a high acid liquid like white wine. That's exactly what this style of wine is designed to do in terms of pairing. It pairs brilliantly with other high acid foods. On the flip side, if the Chardonnay seemed a little too heavy, a little too rich for you on the first sip, there's an easy way to make it seem lighter, brighter, and more refreshing, and that is simply to put it next to foods that have equal or greater richness. All it takes is a little taste of butter on the tongue for us to feel that spreading richness, the melting butter on the tongue. The taste of butter, that feeling in the mouth, is going to change the way this Chardonnay seems. All of a sudden, the wine seems much lighter. It seems brighter, more refreshing, simply because it's compared to being put next to a food experience that feels more rich and unctuous in the mouth. This style of wine is not necessarily the best with the foods that work well with the frascati, with fresh tomatoes, with salads, it might seem a little clunky or even heavy. But serve it with something sautéed in butter or wrapped in bacon or something else with that richness of oil and fat content, and all of a sudden, this Chardonnay is seeming brisk and refreshing, light as a feather.